Hi friends, thanks for joining me again today. Yes, this is a giant basket sitting in front of me and it's rose gold and it's awesome. Today's tutorial is gonna be a little bit fun. Um, personally, I think all my tutorials are super fun, but today I thought we would do something a little bit unique. So I found these baskets um, made by President's Choice. I found it at Independent or some people have it in their town it's called Loblaws or um, Superstore or what have you, but it's a President's Choice basket um, from hmm, dating it now, maybe about a year or a year and a half ago or so. Found it in the summertime, loved it so much that I bought eight of them. <laughs> You're probably wondering, what the hell are you going to do with eight baskets? Eight rose gold metal baskets. Well. I've actually done some pretty fantastically awesome things with these baskets. They make incredible bases for side tables where I've taken a live edge slab of wood and um, like a cookie, cut it down, sanded it and fastened it to the top of the basket. I've also made light fixtures and with one of our last tutorials um, I had all this additional jute left over from overshooting on estimating how much jute I actually needed for my macrame and I hate to throw this kind of stuff out because um, well just because it's awful and wasteful so I thought you know what I only have two hanging pendulum lamps made from my baskets and I like things in threes and every time someone comes over they always say they love my lamps and want to know where they can get them well you I don't know if you can still get this basket with uh, President's Choice but you can get something similar to you can find it at Winners or Marshall's Home Sense anything like that um, spray paint it rose gold or whatever cool color it is you want. I even think black would look lovely in matte black. Um, but you could spray it and basically make a really badass pendulum lamp out of it. Um, the hardware for the electrical is just a plug-in. Um, I got it at Ikea, I think it was nine bucks. Basket was, I think $18. So without further ado, let's get started on making these cutesy little hanging pendulum lamps and We'll go from there. Start upcycling our jute. It's about time. Okay, so love this basket. Why? Because it has a hole in the center. So with my little um, electrical cables from IKEA, they they're the diameter of the actual opening up the light is about one and a quarter inches, which is essentially just the other side of this circle so I just need to cut the circle out so I'm able to sink my light into the fixture and it'll stay so first things first before we actually start adding the jute um, the jute kind of decor to the front of the basket or the outside of the basket I like to cut this make sure that that's done kind of do the nitty-gritty stuff and then do the fun decor part Um, and I'm just going to trim back on these little pieces just ever so slightly. It's like the slightest little bit that needs to come off, which is a little bit frustrating, but it is what it is. So for that, I do get my little safety goggles out, which have to be quite dusty. I don't even know where that stuff is going, so good thing we got our safeties on. I 
remember why I do this first. It's so difficult to do. My hands are not strong. Now that we're cut, we can start. So I'm just taking my first piece here. Just going to knot it. Onto my basket and really just start weaving. So over, under, over, under, over, under. Nothing fancy, nothing tough. But Oops. but you gotta pay attention because if you don't pattern won't come out right. And I'm going to follow and repeat the exact same pattern for about five rows and then I'm going to switch it. So anytime I went over, I'm going to go under next. So after I tie this knot here, I'm going to alternate my over-unders because I feel like we have a nice impactful band. Oh, God, these are so hard to tie sometimes. Left over right and under, right over left and under. Um, with the nice impactful band, we should be able to start alternating. To look quite cool. And now we're switching and going back to the original um, over under pattern so we can give a little bit of dimension to the basket weave. So just speeding things up here, we've done our basket weave about two thirds the way down the basket, over, under, and under and over and come up with this amazing pattern. Now we're going to take our IKEA pendant light fixture and insert it into the top of the basket where we cleared the hole. Next, we're going to screw on the little so now I'm just holder placing. to make sure that the pendulum stays onto the basket. Light bulb. Threading him on there. See? He fits perfect. We'll get a little light bulb in there. And I'm going to be sure to cut my knots. If you look inside here, we do have some knots. So I'm just going to trim those bits there just to tidy things up. Okay, so our little basket lamp is ready to be hung. So we've got this really beautiful jute weave. So let's take it on over and hang it up and then you can see how it fares. I'm really, I love these basket lights. I think they look absolutely awesome. Um, and what's wonderful about them is you can use them inside and outside. So if you have a cute little tent or something that, you know, you have um, 
in your backyard. You can always hang it underneath the tent and it makes really, really nice ambient lighting. So I'm gonna go hang it up and we'll show you how it looks.